focus. Shall we look? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Daisy. Thought I'd get her out because I wanted to know in the comments below if you would like me to make a video introducing you to all of my pets. Which makes it sound like I have absolutely tons. I don't have that many. I have three cats and seven rats. Okay, I have a few. Um, but yeah. But let me know because I would love to make a video introducing them and I would like to know if it's something that you would like to see. She's a little bit manic today because she wants to run around the floor but she has to go back because we're doing a makeup tutorial. We are. We are. Stop moving so you can actually see it properly. Right, I'll put her back and then we'll crack on with the tutorial. Okay, so today we are doing this look here, which I obviously have done one eye already because I was like, right, what am I going to do today? And I just sat down in front of the. Let me show you. Right, so I sat down with this Morphe palette. This is the 35U palette. Um, I've been going to this a lot lately, I'm actually in love with it, but look, as you can see it's quite messy, but look at all these colours, they're so great, but yeah I sat down in front of this palette and I was like right, I want to do something with blue, and yeah there's actually a bit of like pink underneath there as well, let's see if we can like zoom in and show you like what this eye actually looks like up close, you okay? So yeah, I might, I probably will darken up a little bit after I've done my foundation, but this is the look, and I'm going to show you how I did it on this side. I'm going to keep you nice and zoomed in, even though it creeps me out a little bit. But yeah, let's crack on. So the first thing that I'm going to do is my eyebrow, because... Sometimes I do my eyeshadow first and I forget about my eyebrow and it's not great. And, well, you can't even see my mouth moving or you can see my eyebrows. God, they move a lot. Okay. So I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ash Brown, as always. And I'm just going to use the Anastasia number 12 brush. It's the one with the, you know, the little angle and the spoolie on the end. Let's just grab a bit of that product. Just going to brush out my eyebrow. And then Okay, once we have done the eyebrow, I'm just going to grab my Urban Decay Eye Primer and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. This is definitely one of my favourites, um, mainly because I've only tried a few and the other ones I tried just didn't work at all. Um, but if you have any recommendations actually, I would definitely love to hear them because I'm all up trying new things. Okay, so I'm just going to pat that in using my finger. And then grabbing the Morphe palette, we are just going to uh, open it. Okay, so the colour that I am going to be using first is this kind of like aqua blue one here. And I'm just going to grab this angled brush from Spectrum. It is the B04. I'm just going to get some of that colour and just pop it on the outer and inner corner and then I'm also just going to join it up, bring it all the way around like so, just like pretty much just following the crease don't worry about this being messy because it will end up looking messy at some point right so just smush it in and then using the spectrum B06, we are just going to blend that out a little bit. If you're happy with that, 
I'm just going to grab this Eco Tools kind of like round brush. It's just, um, I don't know what it is. It doesn't actually say on it. It's just an Eco Tool round little brush that I like to use. Because I'm going to pick up this blue here. And I'm just going to pop that in the same place that I just put that aqua blue. Then once that's done, using the same brush and that same blue colour, I'm just going to dip it in to... Oh wait, no. I lied! Okay, actually the other blue, because there are three blues, um, this blue here, I'm just going to use that, but I'm also going to dip it into the black here. And I'm just going to kind of dip it into both, because I really want to kind of darken it up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put that into the corner of my eye. Also, I'm popping it into the outer corner and just bring it around a little bit. And then I'm just going to pick up more of that black and just pop it onto the outer corner and the inner corner just to darken up those bits just a little bit more as you can see there is a fair bit of fallout with this product so I would definitely recommend doing your eyes before you do your foundation because honestly that will ruin your day right and then I'm just going to blend that a little bit just by wiggling the brush around I use such professional professional terms wiggling okay right and then once you are happy with how that's looking which I feel pretty happy with that at the moment. I am just going to grab that same brush that we used at the beginning because we're going to pick up some more of that like aqua blue a bit, quite a lot. And we're just going to put that into the middle of our eye and we're just really going to like pack it in. What I do is I just pick up yet more of that black and just pop it right into the two corners just so that they remain quite dark where they might have lost some of their colour. Okay, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. Okay, and then what I do to make, because as you can see this one's kind of paler and more shiny. So what I do is I grab the Sleek Solstice palette and I just dip my f yeah <laughs> I just dip my finger into these two here. I hesitate things. I was like, did I use a brush for this? But no, I actually just use my finger. But yeah, I'm just gonna pick up some of that product and then just dab it onto that middle bit, just to really kind of make that stand out more. Just pattern it in like so right and now before we continue what we need to do is tidy up this eye because as you can see it's like crazy so i'm just going to grab a cotton wool pad and also my almond oil which is what i'm using to clean my face with let me know if you want me to do a skincare video because i love talking about skincare and if you want that i would definitely do it but anyway, yeah, I'm just going to use this because I know it doesn't irritate my skin just to clean up all around here. Okay, and then before I do any more with that eye, what I'm going to do is just put the <laughs> cap on my oil bottle before I spill it everywhere. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do now is just the rest of our face makeup and then we will finish up the eye. So to prime my face, I'm using one of my all-time favourites, as you probably have already guessed if you've watched any of my other videos. It's the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser 
one. So yeah, we're just going to get a nice pea sized amount and we're just going to spread that all over. Okay, and then once the primer has had a chance to sit on your skin for a little while, I'm just going to grab the foundation, which has so much cat hair on it, it's actually ridiculous. Um, so I'm currently using the Born This Way uh, Too Faced foundation in the shade Light Beige. Um, I do plan on picking up like a drugstore foundation soon because I'm really not happy using this often because I just don't have that kind of money so I'm just gonna get a pump and just a little bit and I'm just gonna dot this around my face oh my god I'm getting pins and needles oh oh my god does anyone else hate that it's horrible oh my god please go away okay and then using my spectrum ow god please help Right, so using my Spectrum BO1, I'm just gonna buff that foundation into my face. I have to admit, I do love the finish of this foundation, it's just so nice. A nice look, I'll zoom you in. You can have a real close look at my skin. I mean, look at that. It literally just looks like skin. It's great. Right. What am I doing? What am I doing? I am grabbing, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to grab the Spectrum A01, which is a nice big fluffy brush, and then taking the original Mineral Veil Bare Minerals powder I'm just gonna get just like the top that's in there so I'm not gonna empty any out I'm just gonna get a little bit I'm just kind of pat it into my face to set it and then I'm gonna grab this little brush here Woo! I try not to drop it everywhere and also the glam bronze from l'oreal because as you know it's basically the only bronze that i'm using currently i'm just gonna pop that just here and onto the outer perimeter of my face powder all over my leg right then I'm going to grab the Revolution Blush Palette. Excuse the fact, it's so disgusting right now. Woo! And then I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to mix some colours together. So I'm just going to grab the AO5 brush and I'm just going to get some of the, like, kind of the dark shades, maybe these ones, and just swish my brush around. I love these, they're kind of like a shimmery blush, so if you prefer matte then I wouldn't pick up this palette, but if you want like a blush that's kind of got a nice glow to it, I would definitely recommend this. Okay, I'm just going to flick that onto, okay, and then reaching back in for the sleep palette, I'm just going to pick up those same colours that I used for the lid and I'm just gonna use my fan brush I'm just gonna put that I feel like I've said just gonna a lot okay <laughs> sorry about that but yeah I'm just gonna pop that onto the oh my god every time I use it like blown away Okay, so we have done the base makeup. Still haven't bought myself a setting spray because I just haven't got the money. That's also why I haven't used a 
concealer because I ran out of concealer and well I do have one concealer but it's so bad that I refuse to use it um, but yeah I might talk about that in a, another video what I am gonna do is I think I might have tried this before and I don't think I was that impressed but I just picked it up so I thought I would use it um, because it was hiding in my drawer so this is the L'Oreal lip paint matte in the shade Hollywood Beige and the number is 201 it's a liquid lipstick it smells like strawberries which is really nice and it's got like a really nice kind of like doe foot applicator but if I remember correctly this just disappears off your lips I expect like a matte lipstick to, like a liquid lipstick to stay and most that I've used do but this one is just kind of just disappears but because it's such a nice neutral colour it's not as obvious as say like a red so I'd be interested to try some of the dark colours and see how that works formula wise though it is really moisturising so I mean I've got that going for them okay so now we just need to finish off the eyes so let's zoom you back in so we can properly see what's going on right so going back in to the oh my god look at that highlight right so going back into the 35u palette i'm gonna take this color here let's really pop that underneath here and what i'm gonna do is just because this is quite a wide brush it's the ao6 i'm just gonna squish it and just draw a line the Tarte Man Eater which I do I actually really really like this I feel like it is a little bit wet so it takes a lot a while to dry and sometimes it can be a bit clumpy um, okay guys so this is the final look I really hope that you enjoyed the video and also that you like this look I I'm loving it. I am loving the Morphe palette. I can highly recommend that, especially for the price. It's amazing. And also, this little guy here, the sleek highlighting palette, is just ridiculous. I just I can't I can't get enough of this. Um yeah, if you actually try this look. I would love it if you could tag me on Instagram because I would just love to see. So I will pop up, or should I say, yeah, I'm going to put all my like social media links in the description box below. So definitely check them out if you would like. If you're new here and you've actually stuck through this whole video, wow, thank you. If you're not new and you still stuck through this whole video, thanks again. Um, but don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you did enjoy it and that's all for now um my next video is probably gonna be me dyeing my hair because i am gonna be doing a different hair color and refreshing the dye i think i might like probably bleach my roots as well um but yeah i guess that's it don't forget to let me know if you want to see a pet video and also just you know if you've got any ideas for videos that you would like to see, also write them in the comments below because all the kind of like comments I am getting, I am writing them down and they are videos that will be coming soon. Right, that is the end of my video because I am going to shut up and go and make myself a coffee so that I can edit this video. Whoop whoop! Oh my god, I'm so lame. Right, yeah, my cat is looking at me, so bye! And I will see you next time.